Hi everyone, in this video I'll be explaining to you about the customizing the form. So previously we saw custom field, everything about the custom field. Now in this video I'll be explaining to you about how to customize a form. Now customize form is actually a tool in which you can enable, wait, let me go to customize form. So from this part over here, that is the upper part, these are all the fields, but right now we are we are going to have a look into the customized form. So it allows to make a changes to a form type or to a doc type on the front end. So whatever anything we do, any any changes that we do over here will affect the front end of this system. Now we'll have a look at all of this one by one. So consider item doc type. Right now I have the item doc type over here. And over this over here includes the form type all right and then let's say if we want to change the label so this particular field will be fetched via custom translation so we can change the name of the field to suit our suit our I mean the services let's say now over here we have the item over here so if I want to name it as a product then I'll just use I'll add a product over here so this is how it can be done now let's let's update it okay now it has update it has been updated now we have a title field over here so title field can be used to generate the title while viewing the list so i'll duplicate it So I'll go to, okay, now we see this product, it's uh, item has now become product and I'll go to product and you can see that we have item name as the first, first section over here. So that is the title field over here. Okay. And then we have a default print format. So the print format is a separate different section in the ERP next. So each print format can be a PDF print format and then we can have a letterhead in that. So it is a it is a completely different section which I'll explain to you in a different video. But if you want to add a print format for any particular form then you can add it from over here. And we have an image field. So we can so in item in item doc type we have an image field somewhere over here let me have a look where is it okay we have image attach image so that particular image um, I mean if I added image section over here then this becomes the image representing the particular doc type like if I go into item let's say I'm going into iPhone 12 so iPhone 12 it is represented by this particular image over here so like for employee also we can add an employee photograph or snapshot so that can be that can be considered as a section representing the doc type all right now next we have is a search field now to explain you about the search field i'll take another example so now previously i have created an institute doc type um, let me go to institute list and all right i'll go to customize open link in new tab Mm, okay what happened institute list and customize it so in previous video I changed it back to um, I changed it to like field and then I added name one but I changed it ag again to this ins dot hash 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 just to explain to you about this um, search fields all right so if I go into let's say if I am creating a new institute again all right I'll create an institute named as SPJN and address and contact let's skip it for now we are just right now interested in the name and I'll go back in the HR module I go, I'll go to job applicant doc type since we saw in the previous video that I have linked the institute into each job applicant and I'll click on institute so you see we have this INS 03 and 02 so we we won't we don't know which one is this one and which one is this one so to in order to ease this um, particular what we'll do is we'll go to the search field now since it is uh, the custom doc type that's why the view of this doc type uh, anything we want to edit will be 
will be will go directly into the doc type unlike for the items since they are standard doc type so for them they have a separate customized form and they have all these fields over here so in customize we'll go to the view settings and in search field i'll add the name one all right so let's say name one and let's save it okay let's refresh let's refresh this one also okay now i'll search for institutes okay now we see um apart from this series we also have the name over here since i in search field i added name so we can see we have a spg and we have iit bombay and aiktc okay iit bombay was previous when we had the search field different the name field different so i hope you understood about this particular search search field over here all right now next we have is a sort field so we can sort the item sort field is uh, actually records in the doc type we have them in the list form so over here we have all of this in the list form so how do we want to sort them that that's a, that is what it indicates over here so we can sort them by name or by when they are modified so let's say when they are modified that is the ideal one and then we can sort them in ascending or descending order all right so this was about it and then we have some more properties one of them is hide copy so this box when checked it will restrict a user to create a copy of the particular form so sometimes a user might create a separate form for item and, uh, and basically a se separate doc type so when we don't want them to create so we can just hide this copy and is tables so this option is available while customizing the form uh, which are present in the table forms in the system so for example suppose that you are creating an item table to be added into a custom form that you have created a separate form so you can enable um, this particular option okay um, i'll explain to you about the child table in another video so there is like a lot of things to explain one of them is default print format and another one is the child table all right we have quick entry so quick entry i mean we in which one is this item right so i'll go to item and let's go to item list all right when i click on new you can see i have this small form over here that is it allows me to make a quick entry into the form so that's what quick entry is about and then we have a track changes that means uh, whenever any changes will be made it will be displayed so any any movement or any changes that will be happened with it will be shown over here it will be tracked over here that is what it's about and we have track view so it will allow it will give a trail of all the views towards this particular doc type this is what it is about then allow auto repeat so this option it will allow you to enable auto repetition of a doc type periodically for example if there is a sales order which has to be made a multiple number of times so you can enable this option okay and we have allow import so let's say if you have a list of an item that you want to import then you can check this particular box allow import and then we have a show preview pop-up so preview pop-up it's not working right now i think it's some kind of a bug so what it's about is like since it is checked over here so once i hover on this um, iphone name so i should be getting some small information about it but right now all of this is present in the list so maybe that's the reason all right so this was about all this was all about the form so and we already saw about this custom field in the previous video so i hope you understood everything um, in this and if you have any doubts do mention them thank you so much for watching